Right. So, if you notice, mine and Bob's uh, Bunko there was from two different cars, two different Tokyo ideas, didn't discuss it, but that end movement where he's slammed in the head this way and Bob's ripping the head back to this side, or I was doing um, Yonda where I was reaching around and my head and pulling it back this side, exactly the fucking same. There's no difference. Uh, which shows it's just fucking movements. It is just fucking movements. So, t shirts on the way. <laughs> okay, so exactly the same situation again in the toilet. The guy's brassed me up. He's about to start throwing punches. I'm covering. As soon as I get my space, I pull him in, and then I've just got this into the wall. I haven't got the long range lift, but it's just the same thing going on there. If he's still a bit fractious, then again, I've got the other wall. Take the leg, take him in, and I can pass out at the same time. Okay, so we're doing it in a confined space. And here, we did it in the gauntlet. When the arms clash here again, I'm going to be twisting him to slam him into the wall. Um, and then literally, I'm trying to escape out here. That's the best thing. You can kick him. If he's coming back, or he's forcing his way back, then you just grab him and go onto that next section of cat where you crash him that way. And again, once he's there and crashed that way, and he's bent, you can use the knee and the punches to just come through and off you go.